we're here again then at a circuit famous for its stunning visuals and thrilling battles for glory. Who will take the spotlight in the Bahrain Grand Prix today? There's no shortage of passing opportunities around the 3.36 miles of the Bahrain International Circuit, with the best at Turn 1, of course, and then another soon into Turn 4. 15 corners here, 6 to the left and 9 to the right, and we could see one or two flat spots into the tight left-hander of Turn 10. Joining me for today's race once again is Anthony Davidson. As ever, the threat of unreliability is never far away, and indeed they'll be starting out of position today due to a power unit component change. So it's going to be a difficult task to move forward from there. But on the bright side, at least those fresh components can help them maintain the power they need to come through the pack. I expect to see them take a more aggressive approach today to make up for the compromise start. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Iceman lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Ricardo, Leclerc, Max Verstappen, and Perez, Vettel, Bottas, Gasly, and Lando Norris, Albon, Stroll, Daniel Kvyat, and Ocon, Magnussen, Giovinazzi, George Russell, and Nicholas Latifi, Hubert, a Williams, it's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of F1 2020 Career Mode. We're in Season 2. Uh, this is our second qualifying session, second race. We've placed first both qualifying sessions, so... We might have to see if we need to adjust the, we might be adjusting the AI settings to see how this race goes. Uh, but not too bad, McLaren is quite happy with us with how last race has turned out. Uh, our current setup, good, everything looks good, 15 laps. You know, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, let's go back, start. Yeah, so last race they had uh, a few reliability issues for Alex Albon. Cover up the inside. Oh, wow. I did kind of park it on the edge, but this is a little bit too aggressive there, buddy. Hot ass went hard. I thought it was my wing which, which got broken off there, but I thought the case which is good. Well done mate, nice start. Alright, we're going doing pretty well, we went hard. Uh, I'm assuming this time is not going to be what stands anyway, since Hamilton's falling back as uh, since he, his front wing is damaged. He's going to the pits, yes he is. Let's see what he can do. He had, very, had a very similar incident uh, with Verstappen, but but at Imola, where a little bit of his front wing was gone, but he didn't pit in right away. So we'll see how he is when he comes right back out. How his times are, because he'll have a lot of clean air.
probably going a little bit faster into there. Also, we'll need to turn in a bit sooner as well. I'm gonna help fourth gear through there as well. Run a little bit wide. the fastest lap of the race keep this up oh daniel ricardo fastest lap probably you oh, he didn't have drs yet but maybe just a nice slipstream i guess but daniel ricardo was really was really fast during practice sessions and qualifying so i'm not surprised at how well he's actually been racing Braked way too early there. Same as there, I can break later. That corner was almost pretty much spot on, which is great. is high. Let's use that overtake button more. Alright, let's use some overtake this time and see We're approaching the pit window. what kind of lap time we can do. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Confirm. Confirmed. No, I want to go mediums. Whatever, we'll just set it. Lab six ourselves. Uh, a little bit too deep in that corner. Some information on Latifi. They've got a serious car issue. It looks like they're retiring. That's just two races in a row for Latifi when they retired. That's not good. We're off by 100, well, almost 200 of a second. Caution, caution. Someone's come off ahead of you. There's a yellow flag ahead. That's Latifi. Green flag. Ooh! Got the tail to whip out there a little bit, have to be careful. Overstep the curb a little bit. See how six or two is for us, our timing was. Uh, down on time, even with overtake. Should have been in third gear, should have been in fourth gear back there. Uh, 
In this lap, in this lap, push now. New mediums. Plus one, faster engine modes are available. Alright, we have mediums going on, good. Alright. Not too bad of a lap. Uh, Verstappen's coming in right behind us as well. We're not doing too bad, times aren't, aren't looking too bad, we still have the fastest lap, probably we're just by a little bit. Uh, so we'll see how this corner Pit goes here. Complete. See so we're at Warm these tires up a bit. Short shifting a little bit. We'll run uh, rich fuel in the last, like, hopefully three, four laps. If we need to. Really bad corner there. Stop. All right, who's coming out? Danny Re. That's a good sign. Six point six seconds. Take now, please push hard. Okay, the gap behind is 5.9 seconds. Don't know why they want me to use overtake there. Maybe just to burn a little bit more energy. 
fast as slab, I can definitely go faster. We're leading our teammate by 12.9 seconds. Yeah, we're definitely upping the difficulty. Because six seconds ago, I get that Lewis Hamilton uh, had issues and he delayed Verstappen a bit, but should be a little bit closer, I believe. As a warm, let's go rich. Let's see if we can set a fastest lap time again. This is the corner which we gotta get down perfect. There's that little bump there which can really disrupt your car. of fuel remaining. Second sector was not the fastest. Maybe you can make the third sector the fastest, we'll see. Uh, let's go back to Good standard. Job. That was the fastest lap of the race so far. Well done. I know we can break later in that corner. That's what, that's what I'll do. I'll break much later in the next corner just to see. Well, at a hairpin, just to see kind of like what speed we can carry and how fast we can get around that. So I've been being. Well, I have been pretty liberal with that corner.
Alright, let's do a later break distance. Of fuel remaining. That's, that's a bit better. I think you probably do even a little bit later. Two more laps, let's bring this thing home. The car behind has started to drop back. There's a gap beginning to form. No, we're stopping up past Ricardo. the back corner use your overtake button more it's time to utilize some of this energy I'm assuming it probably because I hit the curb too I started to twist and turn when I was braking so it's especially under hard braking lost a lot of traction We're gonna try that corner once again just a little bit later. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Not too bad. You know, overall it's been a pretty clean, consistent lap, so I'm not. I'm quite happy with that. But we'll definitely be increasing our difficulty for the next race for sure. We've already done one season F2, uh, one season in F1. This is our, I think, I guess our third season in the Formula series. Woo, another one for McLaren. Nice work. That's P1. Race win. Well done. Very well done. I guess we won't be the driver of the day if we're always first place. Brilliant stuff from McLaren. Well today. done. What a superb victory. Kind of shows what McLaren can do in 2021. And Maybe this is what the 2021 me. season is going to look like. What do you think like. it was that sealed the win for them? I think that smart tire management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tires at all times. Our winning drivers are on their way to the podium right now. It's been a fantastic Another one. race for Daniel Ricciardo, third, sure. second place no again. Be celebrating tonight. Well done, well done for Danny Re. Oh, he third place. Oh, third place again. Verstappen second. He's an awesome driver, honestly. Hopefully, he does really well this this uh, this season. I do hope he wins again. Wins uh, 
uh, the drivers standings. That would be awesome. Drivers championship. Hopefully he surpasses uh, uh, Hamilton and Bottas this year. So be really nice so to let's see. Let's review the updated driver standings. Iceman increases wow, their championship lead. A minute let's and focus a bit. On the driver Ooh, of the that's day. not good. Anthony Davidson. Who do you pick? Let's give it to Esteban Ocon. One thirty-two. That was a commanding performance today. Very impressive indeed. Let's move on to the constructors. McLaren continue to increase their gap at the top. And with that, we wrap up another Hamilton, weekend of motorsports. Hamilton, 132.4. With more races lined up, 31, be yeah. sure to join us when we come back. It's a little bit too far. Formula One. Far away from these guys, so definitely we'll be up in the difficulty. Should be much closer. But not too bad. Norris is uh, sixth place. Structures were still up there, which is good. Uh, but that's that should be that should be the end of our episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode. The next. Uh, during the next race, during the next uh, race weekend, we will be upping our AI difficulty just to see if we can get a bit more of a challenge and have a bit... We shouldn't really be placing first place right now anyway, I don't think. Maybe we are. Maybe our car, our car is performing that well. Maybe I'm improving in driving, but you never know. We'll be making this a bit more interesting, so stay tuned. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, make a comment down below, and we'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.